California. Hundreds of earthquakes at the Salton Sea volcanic field, the biggest being, from what I see, very difficult to see with all those spots there, 4.3 magnitude, 4.2, 4.1, hundreds of them rocking just today in this area of the west coast. We know that it's a subduction area, the Pacific Plate subducting underneath the North American Plate. Salton Buttes, the volcanic field there has a geothermal plant, and it's right on the San Andreas Fault System. They do expect uh, a big size earthquake there. Let's take a look at the maps so that you can have a, an image of what is going on there. It's really rattling all day today. This is not from Salton Buttes. This is from another mud volcano somewhere in the Arabian uh, Peninsula. And um, this is what it can look like. This is Salton Buttes right here. Basically, mud spewing from the earth. We know that there's magma underneath there. That's why they have a geothermal um, plant in Salton Buttes. Further up north at uh, Ridgecrest, they have another geothermal plant. That was where we had last year's 6.4 and 7.1 magnitude earthquake. Then they have, going up further north, we have the Long Valley Caldera Supervolcano where they have another geothermal plant. So this is an area full of magma. This is on the west coast magma, the same magma feeding from the Baja Peninsula going towards the east. That fault line, following the fault line going up into Utah, volcanic fields south of Salt Lake City, Utah, feeding into Yellowstone and then turn, making a west uh, direction, uh, like an imaginary seven line into Idaho, all these are volcanic fields there. So this is another picture from Salton Buttes, mud volcano. This is what it looks like. Let's go and take a picture to take a look at the earthquakes that we had there today and what's going on. So Berkeley, the yellow the past uh, week, the past day or so, the blue is today and the red is the past hour. Now, if we pull out, this is the area as you can see, there's hundreds of quakes there today. Um, as we said, I, I tried to see this is 3.8. The one next to it is, I can't see, but anyway, just it just looks about the same size. This is Salt and Sea, Salt and Buttes right there. Uh, how much is this one? 3.8 again. And uh, you can see that there's hundreds of quakes there, one on top of the other. There's just too many to count, right in the same area. There we go. Uh, there's just too many to count. I think this one was one of the bigger ones, 4.1. No, that's not it. What about this one? 4.0. This one is 4.5. Oh, I thought you see that was 4.5 today. And they're all pretty shallow. So 4.5 seems to be the biggest. There are not that many people living there. And let's take a look at the um, population density. Wait a minute. Uh, U.S. fault population density, as you can see, uh, right there, okay, to the south. That's the U.S.-Mexico border. This is Los Angeles right there. And this is the San Andreas Fault right there, running right through uh, Salton Buttes right there, a volcanic field. And this is the uh, San Andreas Fault, as we said. This is the Garlic Fault. And this is Ridgecrest right there, where we have another uh, geothermal plant, although that is not sorry, this is the Garlic Fault, sorry, Mojave Desert, right there. That's around the area of Ridgecrest. And coming up north on this area of the Walker Lane Fault System, this uh, San Andreas Fault takes up 75% of the subduction pressure of the uh, Pacific Plate under the North American Plate, and the Walker Lane Fault System takes up the other 25%. It's not one fault, it's hundreds of faults put together. It's acting, uh, you know, it's like a jigsaw puzzle. And this is the Manu Inyo craters. This is the area of uh, uh, Long Valley Caldera. Okay, this is it right here. Nevada, of course, has volcanic areas right there as well. And uh, that is Salt Lake City right there. This again, the black shows the population density. Let's take that out. And let's go to our aerial so you can uh, see it better. 
Salt Lake City. Again, you can see the fault lines right there. And going up north, we go, that's the, this is uh, Yellowstone Lake. That's Hebgen Lake, that Z right there. And this is Idaho and the Idaho lava. You can see the Idaho lava field and look at that beautiful flow right there. So it's very easy to pick up from uh, Google Earth. So this area here, let's pull out. Okay. Uh, you can see the Baja California is the site of this magma. The western part going under San Andreas and the Walker Lane Fault System, and the other part going here towards the east under Salt Lake City into Yellowstone and into the lava field over there in Idaho. So this is where we have our earthquakes today shaking us up. And uh, it's not at all far from the Baja California magma plume that spreads into the west here and east. It's like a Y shape. And this is, of course, uh, uh, as we said, right there in that area, it's not that very well populated, but you can see all that shaking because it's very low lying. It's a uh, liquefaction taking place there. And, and you can see this over a, uh, what, 200 mile radius, just about right there. Uh, Let's go to the, that's a five point, that's a 4.5 that we saw. Okay, what, a, how big is this one? There are so many there, that's 4.1. Okay, there are just so many there. I didn't pick up the 4.5. What's this one here? 4.2, okay. Uh, you can see that this is hundreds of quakes just today. Uh, the red is the past hour that we said. Okay. Um, I don't know if people have uh, been... Uh, oh, uh, alert to this. Okay, that one, one, one person reported that. But as it, hours go on, there'll be more. Uh, as we said, it depends on how many people live there. And it's, um, they may be working, they may be out and around in their cars or walking and they don't feel the earthquakes that much. But as you can see, uh, some of these areas are very low lying. Uh, there's a lot of lakes and water systems around there. This is it. That's what it looks like. So that's the 4.5. And uh, let's go to the... Oh, I lost it. Didn't I? How am I supposed to find it now? Forget it. Oh, let's go back to 2.5. And maybe we'll take out some of these uh, smaller earthquakes. Take out some of the smaller earthquakes if I can. And push in. To see if I can find it. Forget it. Anyway, we'll go to the 4.3. Where was the 4.5? Was it higher up? I don't know. 4.1. Forget it. I'm just wasting your time now. Okay. Anyway, we saw the point four, 4.5. There it goes. Okay, we've got it. <laughs> Sorry about that. They just, uh, you know, the, the circles look about the same size, so it's difficult to find. 65 uh, people reported that to USGS. And uh, let's go see the shake map for that. That's the shake map for it. to see what it looks like. Uh, if it's yellow, it's strong shaking. Oh, the green is moderate. So basically it's green blue right here. So it's light shaking, as we can see. Uh, that's light shaking in that area. Now, I'm not going to go into all the other uh, earthquakes, 4.3, 4.2, 4.1, because basically it's they're in the same area. Um, that's what it looks like. It's light shaking. And let's say in here, did you feel it? Let's see what's happening there. Okay, basically they felt it around there. Greenish blue and blue. Moderate shaking to light shaking to weak, sh weak shaking. And they've also felt it here around Carlsbad, Oceanside, San Diego. Because obviously because of the fact that it's uh, softer sediment there. San Bernardino also felt that. that we're talking about the 4.5 earthquake. Okay, so that's 4.4 shaking. 73 people uh, stay, uh, reported feeling that. And um, let's go into the tech. It's basically the same 4.4, 4.5, 4.3. And let's go into the, um, sorry, shake intensity and go to the aerial. 
there we go. These are low-lying areas. You can see that those have all shaken up, been shaken up. It's about a what? Is it, is it like 200 by 200 mile area? Okay, so all of you there, there, please be very careful uh, because this is an area of uh, magma underneath. It's a volcanic field. And as we said, so is uh, Ridgecrest right there. And um, all of you there around Los Angeles, please, please be very careful because as we know, they are warning us that they're expecting um, a 7.5 magnitude plus earthquake in the southern SoCal area of San Andreas. And they have also asked you to uh, have the application for the shake map, the shake, the uh, shake application for earthquake um, notification in case uh, it's a f above a 4.5 magnitude earthquake. You will be notified, and it will give you a couple of seconds to take cover. So I'll leave links below for you for this on Seismal Berkeley. Thank you. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.